channel in today's video i'm going to share with you how you can make beautiful delicious loaf of bread at home step by step i'm going to show you with measurement and everything you need to do to be able to have your beautiful delicious loaf at home stick to the end of this video i will not regret it don't forget to subscribe like share this video with your friend having said that let's go straight to the video to show you the ingredients we have the yeast we have the vanilla, we have sugar, we have the salt and the flour. Now, now if you look at the scale, you find out that we are using 600 grams of flour. I'm going to weigh 600 grams of flour gradually so that I will get exactly what I want. Now, I want my bread to be thick and very, you know, very heavy. That is just the type of bread I love. But if you don't want... To be your bread to be like that you can actually weigh 500 grams for the same quantity of recipe and it will give you the same size depending on the weight that you want now for our vanilla we weighed 18 grams so i added this quantity of vanilla so that i'll have that flavor that beautiful tasty flavor of vanilla our sugar we weigh 80 grams quantity of sugar is a little bit small low because I don't want the bread to be too sweet. I don't want that sugary taste of bread. So I just want it to be so normal. Want our yeast is also 18 grams. Then I did not bother to activate it first. I just no pour it dry so that I will just use it and go on up. Now let's look at the salt. We added two pinch of salt. We just pinch twice and add. That is all we need for this recipe. Now let's go straight to the video. Now, if you look at it, we, you you, have, you can also weigh your butter, 35 grams. And first of all, mix it, uh, mix the dry ingredients together so that it will be well blended. So you take time to mix the dry ingredients together. Make sure you mix it very well until is well mixed and then you create the hole at the middle and add in your water now i did not measure the quantity of water i use i just add water gradually until i get this the consistency of the dough that i want some persons love strong dough some persons love a soft dough some love a very soft dough whichever one you want to use you have to carefully add the water in bits and for me i don't love the soft the, the the dough that is too soft or too strong so i added my water in bits to have the consistency i desired and i took time to knead it very well now in kneading you may not achieve the smoothness you desire from uh, the plate so you have to remove it to the work table uh, so that you'll be able to knead it properly one of the best supports you can give me is to like this video subscribe drop your comment share it with your friend i really really need it you will never regret subscribing to this channel because i will give you the best bread or bakery tips you will ever receive from any channel so you need to allow your dough to rest for at least 10 minutes so that the smoothness will also develop this will help the dough to be more stable and better now before i pan i have to butter my pans to have to prevent stickiness of my bread so that my bread will not stick on the walls of the pan you can actually mix butter and oil melted butter and oil together to increase the volume if you are producing in large quantity for your pan for you to be able to butter your pan easily now after 10 minutes you can see that the dough has kicked and it has increased in size at this point you don't need to knead it too much you don't have to knead it too much so that it will not alter the structure of the dough for you to have the smoothness you desire fast just use a rolling pin so open it and uh, roll fold and roll fold and roll at least four or five times and you will have the desired smoothness now you can see the way i molded i have to do it this way so that you that don't know how to mold bread you can learn from this pattern even if you do not use a rolling pin you can actually spread it with your hand the way and achieve this thickness and the the flatness i have done and then you just fold it to the size of the pan fast now the next thing i do was to, uh, you know egg wash after egg washing you take it to the oven and uh, i bake at at 200 degrees centigrade so that i will do it very fast 
and good. Remember, I'm doing this because it's what I have to eat. If you are to bake commercial bread, you must not use 200 degrees centigrade. And also, you must not increase the quantity of yeast that way. I just lavish the ingredients because it's what I will consume. You have to know when to introduce your bread to the oven. It must be 80% full. It must be 80%. It must cover the pan 80% before you introduce it to the to the oven. If you need training, you can actually train your students, your staffs. We can train you online and we can also come to your bakery. You can also come to our bakery to learn. We have this three pattern of training people. So you make your choice and contact us. We will do justice to that. We'll make sure we give you the best. We'll give you now when I completed egg washing, I have to use a new razor blade to design the top of the bread of the dough so that the egg washing will penetrate and give me the beautiful design and color that I love. This is the result. Amazing. It looks beautiful, fluffy, very delicious to eat. And uh, this is very good and healthy for my family. Thank you for watching. See you in our next video.